Welcome to ATDI, this is ICS Designer. I'll show you how to use the tool to do microwave network management, spectrum management, interference analysis, and modeling for the network. So initially I'll show you the layers we have. So we have the digital elevation model of Jakarta here. And on the top of this we have the clutter, the land usage, how we use the top of the terrain. So we have small houses, uh, parks, we have industrial areas uh, and um, an open in urban areas. So let's switch to the image mode. This is um, an integration of um, Google API. So we actually can overlay Google Maps on top of this. And let's import the network. So step number one is that you import the microwave network from a CSV or ASCII file format you double click on it this, these are all the parameters on it and this is my network now so as you can see we have um, we have a small network um, multiple colors so each color here is referring to a customer for example <laughs> red and blue and green and all happen to have the same um, same frequency so initially let's see the links budget you can study the link of uh, study the link budget for every every um, link from point A to point B this is this is the link budget calculations this is the gray here is the terrain and this is these are the buildings and the, the urban environment so we can study quickly the link pass budget of all the network based on different uh, methodology for example the the Siemens method for finding the link budget performance the link performance to meet the reliability 19.99 and you hit OK and then this tells you the power received at the second end and the mode of operation and and uh, performance achieved so all have same, f same frequency so I'm, I'm expecting interference let's do interference analysis there's two mode threshold degradation and the protection ratios you can study the interaction between air stations and microwaves and also microwaves microwaves so the question is 40 dB in my case my propagation model is actually the Bollington 1546 we have um, collection of propagation models to suit all the frequencies and all technologies hit OK study and you find that there's too many jammed links so these links that are actually pink are links experiencing interference and you can say who is causing the interference in that case so I hit the close now let's do frequency assignment for this for this network so you go microwave assignment using the protection ratio technique you specify the list of frequencies you have so these are my frequencies that I'm going to use for the assignment and I'm going to use the high low method so which means if you use the high frequencies for transmission here you're going to use the low for transmission here so high low high low you have to alternate and also I added a condition to forbid same RX frequencies on the same point and these are my protection ratios for the core channel for the first adjacent channel and the second adjacent channel so you hit OK and the software now is trying, is trying different combination of frequencies to assign the links in order to minimize interference and it's done, the software assigned the frequencies, now let's have a look so you notice that this, this link for example using, using, um, using 14991 for transmission and this one is using 14991 again which is OK, it's a different pass and there's no interference between them based on the link budget calculations um, and based on the protection ratios you define. Now we need to have um, now suppose suppose this is a little bit more complicated and you have a new application for a new customer who would like to establish a new link. Now the new link is gonna go supposedly from 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 that area here, somewhere around that area here to 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 here. Now this new one's gonna call it a new, it's gonna be bidirectional and I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the the, the, the following frequencies for example um, one four nine nine one 
for and also here for transmission and one for five seven one for reception. So this is a suggested um, frequency from the customer and please orient the antenna to each other. Check the objectives, everything. Okay. Hit OK. And now you have a new link. Now let's do the interference analysis based on this microwaves interference analysis. Remember there was no interference when I did the frequency assignment and now I have interference because of the new link. So I needed to assign the new link to minimize interference. So we go here and we isolate this one. So now I only have the new link active and the rest are shut down. So I need to assign this link only. You go again, uh, microwave assignment, using same technique. Assignment, C to I rule, and you assign it. Okay. Do the assignment again. At this time, put it to 10. That'll take more time. And frequency assigned is 14515. Activate all of them and go do interference analysis again. And you notice the interference disappeared. Thank you for following.